Hello, and welcome to our tutorial for the BACnet Browser Smart Server Demo April Edition. First things first, let's download the application. Fire up your internet browser of choice and browse to www.connect-x.com. Hover your mouse over Demos and Downloads, then BACnet Interface for Ilon Smart Server Demo and click on that. Next. Find the download link and download the application. Once the application is downloaded, fire it up and follow the menus to install. If Windows Security asks for permission to open up ports in its firewall, please be sure to do so to ensure proper operation of the application. Once we finish installing, the application will automatically start. If this is a new network with no BACnet devices currently on it, you will find that the browser discovery window will be empty. We must first install the BACnet Gateway app on the smart server. To do so, click on the smart server button on the top toolbar. This will fire up a new window from where we can control all smart server related features. Verify that the IP and credentials in the settings area are accurate for your smart server. If they are not, change them and hit the connect button. Now, click on the ConnectX logo marked install app. The browser will automatically download the app files to disk. I assume for this portion that you are connected to the internet. If you are not, the browser will not be able to download the smart server app. Once you have downloaded the app files, you no longer need an internet connection. If necessary, you may disconnect from the internet and relocate your machine for installation. Now you are ready to install the app. Just hit enter and wait until the app is installed. You do not need internet for this portion. All right. Now that the app has been installed, we must commission it through the Smart Server Web Interface. For this portion, I highly recommend using Internet Explorer, as it is the preferred choice for the Smart Server Web Interface. Browse to the IP address of your Smart Server. I will be using the default address 192.168.1.222. Log in to the Smart Server Web Interface and enter your credentials. The default credentials are ILON and ILON. Wait for everything to load, and then on the left hand side, look for NET and expand that menu. Underneath NET, you will see LON. Right click LON and select Add Device. A new window will appear. In this new window, select Internal for the location, and under the Select menu, expand LONMARK XIF. Locate the ConnectX folder and expand it, then select BACnet S20. The file name should now populate with root lawnworks import connectx bacnet s20.xif. Give a name to the application for future reference. I will name mine BACnet app, all one word. Now click the submit button on the top left corner of the screen. If you expand BACnet app, you should now see the virtual function block and BACnet S20 underneath it. Click on BACnet app and then click driver. The screen on the right will then change. Within this screen, check Smart Server Network Management and then hit submit on the top left. You have now installed and commissioned the ConnectX BACnet Gateway app for the smart server. At this point, I recommend waiting a few minutes to let the app initialize. Let's head back to the BACnet browser to create a configuration file. Notice that the discovery window in the browser may have discovered a single device. This is the app itself. Also notice that the device contains no objects other than a descriptor of itself. This is because there exists no configuration from which the app can generate points. To create a configuration file for the smart server, click on the smart server button on the top toolbar as we did before. Double check and ensure that your IP and credentials are valid. In the discovery section, choose a search string relevant to the points you wish to map and then hit enter or click discover. A list of found variables will appear below. 
You can scroll through this list to verify that you found your desired points. Next, click on the Select button below to choose exactly which points you'd like to map. Now choose the points of interest to you and hit OK. Click Modify to call out mappings on the points you've selected. The name and type of each point will be displayed alongside modifiable BACnet mapping parameters. Select the relevant parameters for each point and then hit OK. At this point, we can send the configuration to the smart server straight away, but let's save it first for good measure. Click on Save and either use the auto-generated name or select one of your own. Now this configuration file is saved for future use. We can now send the configuration to the smart server by clicking the Send button. Once the configuration is sent, we will get a message window verifying completion. Close this window and the smart server window. Notice that nothing has changed in the discovery window of the browser. We need to refresh it to see the newly created points. Hit the refresh button. If you do not see all your points pop up at first, wait a few seconds and hit refresh again. You should now see the points you created populate in the discovery window. You can now interact with these points as you would any ordinary BACnet points. Congratulations on setting up the ConnectX BACnet gateway on the smart server. Thank you for watching our tutorial for the BACnet Browser Smart Server Demo April Edition. For more information, please visit our website at www.connect-x.com or send an email to info at connect-x.com.